look stunning. Thank you. Why is that every single morning you have to ask me the same question? When your makeup artist's job is to make you look beautiful. Grandma, because you know I do not look at the mirror anymore. Oh, don't be silly. I'm afraid of what I'll see. And as for my makeup team, they'll say what they think I want to hear because they don't want to lose their jobs. <laughs> but as for you, you tell me as it is, straight from the heart. Well, I have a busy day ahead of me. So, I'll see you later. Okay. Try not to stress yourself out too much. I don't. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning. What's my itinerary for the day? Um, a meeting with the IC's partners at 1 p.m. Another meeting with the board of trustees of your foundation at the office for 2.30 p.m. A meeting at the office by 4 to sign the MOU with the Diamond Conglomerate officials for the 40% equity shares we bought. A board meeting with the executive directors of the company and Diamond Conglomerate take over top of the agenda by 5 p.m. A meeting with your lawyer by 6 and lastly, a business dinner date with Dr. Kobner at Tenko Hotel by 8 p.m. Wow, pretty heavy. We confirm all appointments and let's get cracking.
40% stake in Diamond Conglomerate has given me the right to have a huge input on who runs some of those subsidiaries. I have to protect my interests and investments. At whose expense, Mana? The livelihood of thousands of families who depend on their jobs in this company hangs in the balance. And you bring in someone who doesn't know anything about the intricacies of the subsidiaries who run them because of your goddamn 40%? Mr. J, having those who know the intricacies of those subsidiaries has landed it in one place, near bankruptcy. As much as I hate to do this, the only way out is to downsize, cut down our staff trend, and run the risk of a showdown of the trade signal of going to sit down, do nothing, say nothing, and watch this small girl run this company down to its slaughter. With due respect, sir, this small girl to go get me put it, has run her own conglomerate without any problem. And even when they do pump, I have enough experience to do it. Well, uh, please, um, get to work for and ensure that Mr. Aiku takes his medication. Okay, yes, it's important, right? Yes. And there. Uh, Hi. Thank you, Doctor. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Chantel, you need to really slow down, reassign people to do certain duties for you. Do you hear what he said? Hmm? Please. We are all very concerned about you, sweetheart, so just listen to what the doctor has just said. But the drugs you, you've omitted are the principal drugs that I'll need. What am I going to do with these drugs? Huh? But I've given you the one your money can afford. But these ones are useless. Huh? Madam, I've had enough of your whining in just one day. Please, hey. please, guide yourself into a corner. Excuse me, young lady. How can you be so rude to someone's mother? because she complains of your services. She does not have enough money to buy her complete jokes, and yet she was so complaining. And that gives you the right to insult someone old enough to be your mother because she complains? I must report this to Dr. Alfred at once. No, my child. Please don't take any further actions on her on my account. Your reprimand on her is enough to restore my pride. I mean, what more can a mother ask of a child? Hmm? Please. How much is this drug that is bringing this insolence? It's 475 Ghana cities, ma'am. Give her the money. And give her her drugs now. Oh, sweet. So, 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 so,
I'll make a thousand more. One thousand more? A thousand more. Are more. you going to take them to her? No. For my passion. That would be insanity. No, ma'am, no. More of a obsession than insanity. Obsession is like heroin. It takes over you, consumes you completely until you lose everything. Scary, ma'am. I would rather you forget about this girl and concentrate on your life. That's exactly what I'm doing, ma'am. Concentrating on my life. Doing what I love most. Following my heart. <laughs> I have enough experience to do One single attack is enough to kill you. for the man who gave you the artwork of me the other day. Sorry, madam. I don't even know him. That was the first time meeting him. Are you sure? Yes, madam. All right, then. Um, thank you. Thank you. What sort of a complete detachment is this? You almost look like a zombie. You hardly eat sleep or do anything constructive with your time anymore. Mom. Stop treating me like a child, please. If an adult chooses to behave like a child, then he will be treated like a child. This total show of irresponsibility is getting on my neck. Mom, stop it. Stop it. Can I please have my pen? Go get your food. And I want that done now! Of course, ma'am. You look sad, what's going on? Hmm? Can we put a smell on your face or something? Don't worry, I just forced me to eat, but I'm really not hungry. Maybe you could help me with some chicken, right? Here you go. Mom, I'll take care of her, trust me. Okay. Now I know you have completely lost it. You mean your studio is not enough to display her portraits? And you have decided to extend it to your bedroom as well? I love her, Mom. So much, I love her. I know. <laughs> you know. How would you know? <laughs> no, 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 mom, you're gonna hurt her. Please, move away from her a bit. Just like that. Not because you're saying that now. But because I know my son. And that alone keeps me worried. David, I can't bear to see you hurt by any woman, much less someone who doesn't even know you. 
Someone who doesn't even care about you. Someone who doesn't even know you exist. And you are here building all sorts of fantasies about her while she's somewhere else living her life. David, the worst thing that can crush man's ego is an unwritten love. I want you to be happy, David. David, I love you. You're all that I have. I love you, Mom. I love you more. It is the craziest thing I've ever experienced in my entire life. What? Four different billboards with me on it. Do you have any idea who could have put them up? That is the thing that is puzzling to me. Because I don't know anyone who could be this extreme. Well, you could have a secret admirer. An admirer? Mm-hmm. At this point of my life, well, he's definitely looking at the wrong girl. Chantelle, why are you such a pessimist? Huh? Life is beautiful, it's wonderful, it's glorious. You have to embrace it and live it. What's your point, Grandma? My point is that you should live each day as if it was your last. Or you'd rather prefer to have regrets about what you didn't do. Grandma, you seem to have forgotten my problem. Oh, I haven't forgotten. I can drop dead any day. I don't want to raise my hopes so high and get more depressed than I am already. There's nothing to be depressed about. Just enjoy it. Enjoy the moment. Because every moment is beautiful. You're not going to die now. You have to bury me first. Finish with. a senior staff meeting at the office at 12 p.m. and I'm not cancel all my appointments. But ma'am. Okay ma'am. Good. 
I need some time alone. I need to get away from everything that's work-related. Please ask the driver to bring the keys to my official car. I'll be driving alone today. I don't want no aids, no security, and no you. Oh yeah, and uh, if anything important comes up, direct it to the general manager, okay? I need some time alone before I lose it. Please hurry up. Man, this is good. Make it. Amazing. Looks like a painting, doesn't it? the choice of colors around this area. It's beautiful. Looking into the yonder. Sometimes I wish I could fly. Let everything go. You know, what would you do if all this was given to you? All of this, yours. Are you talking to me? Oh. It's just the two of us here. I was thinking aloud, really. What would you do, tell me, if this were yours? Heaven is more beautiful, though. Streets of gold, angels flying around. We don't have that here. He's full of pain, anguish. And yet we prefer to live than die. Who are you? David. I'm a painter. And you? Who are you? Are you okay? Excuse me, miss. Are you okay? That is my house. I see. So this is where you live? Yes. Would you want me to come in? Oh, yes, I'd love to, but um... My mom is asleep right now, so maybe some other time. Yeah. All right, um, well, um, I had a wonderful time. I'm glad you did. I'm very happy you did. So, um, can we do this tomorrow? Let's say 11? Anytime. Anytime at all. Just, just give me a call. And we can go. I will. Thank you. Yes. Thank you for the ride. Drive safely. Take care. Good night. Good night. Right on time. Come on, food is ready. Come and join me. I don't have appetite for food.
David. 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 See you smiling again. Hmm? I was becoming a little bit worried when you weren't picking up your phone calls. But I can see you had yourself a good time. Yes, I did so much. I feel so rejuvenated, so free, so light. Gosh, I haven't had so much fun in such a long time. You go, girl. Now that's the Chantel that I know. Full of life and enjoying every single moment. Keep it up, okay? Don't let anything get you down. I will. <sighs> so exhausted. I should have given you a hint that the office is a no-go area for me today. I want you to cancel all my appointments and direct any important issue to Mr. Watson. Also, tell my driver that I won't be needing his service for this week, alright? He should take the week off. But ma'am, Honorable Japan has confirmed and reconfirmed your appointment with him today. So what do I tell him now? That you still can't make it today? Janice, that shouldn't be my problem. That is why I'm paying you so much money so that you can handle my schedules and my meetings. Figure something out, right? Hi, Mom. Hi, David. And what are you doing, Mom? David, what happened last night? No, Mommy. I'm very sorry for what happened last night, but I'm not ready to talk about it, please. David. I'm your mother. And you are now my husband. In fact, you are my everything. Nothing else matters to me in this world than to see you happy. It hurts me to see you like this. Mommy, I'm fine. Trust me, I'm fine. Mom is my friend. She's coming in. Excuse me. Come in. Oh, good afternoon. It's you. Excuse me. I'm, I'm here to see David. Please come in. Thank you. Make yourself comfortable. So much again. Thanks so much. Mom, this is my first time here. I think you have the wrong person. 
Were you not the young lady who paid for my drugs the other time? Where? At the clinic. Oh, wow! What a small world. Yes. Oh, so nice to meet you again. I, I hope you're well. I'm fine. Oh, that's Thank you. good. Thanks again. Oh, forget about it. Yeah. Um, let me get Steve. Okay. Thank you. David! David! That's the girl there. You, you remember? I was telling you about a friend that I met some time ago. That, that's her. Listen. You met her? Yes. She, she even looks better in, in person than, than on all these portraits. David! Oh my god. She is so beautiful. Come on, let's go and see. No, 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 wait. We'll go. Her name is Chantel. Chantel? Yes. yes. You've known me all my life, right? I mean, you know, I've never been involved with any woman as much as I have with her. You even go to the extent to say I'm going to go insane because I have 1,000 paintings of her, right? Yes. Me looking at her now, Mum, causes me more pain than ever. What? Mum, this beauty you're seeing has less than 72 hours to live. What? 72 what? God! Oh my God! Oh. I met with her yesterday. She spoke with her doctor. She has an enlarged heart. What? She needs one of the same kind that matches. Oh Only a surgery can save her life. Oh my god. Mom, I love her and I cannot watch her die. Yes. There's nothing I can do about it now. I'm sorry. Only if I could donate my heart, I wouldn't hesitate. Take it easy. Look, I painted our future. Painted us together. This is 10 or 15 years in the future, but I didn't paint her now. I painted her ahead of time and I'm going to lose her now, Mom. I'm sorry. Mom, I'll do anything, anything humanly possible to keep her alive. I swear I will. What we can change, we leave it in the hands of our Creator. I'm sorry. Some go tell him coming. You'll be here in a moment. <laughs> it's really good to see you again. Ah, thanks so much. It's okay. Ah, let me get you something to drink. Oh, no, I'm, I'm okay. Oh. Are you okay? Yes, I am. <laughs> mm -hmm. I hope I didn't keep you waiting for too long. Ah, your mom here was really nice to me. <laughs> That's how she is. Shall we? All right, then. Nice to meet you, Mom. Nice to meet you, too. God bless you. Thank you. Okay. Hey, girl. Ever since you came my way, girl. Ever since you feel my hurt, girl I see the sunshine in my life And now I realize, oh, that you, girl Are the only one for me, girl The one that makes me so complete, girl Because in you I feel the fire Paintings come alive oh, oh, baby I can see it in your eyes Oh, the hurt you feel inside Tragedies of life Let me take 
the suns refuse to shine? Why does the rain fall down no more? Tomorrow is here, and yet I cry. Why does it hurt? It hurts so much. What is the meaning? What is life? What is the reason we live to die? Where is the cloud?
you do this to yourself? The doctors just told me that you were drunk. Since when did you start drinking, David? She's gonna die, Mom. She has less than 24 hours, Mom, and she's dead. Maybe she won't, but the doctor said she was gonna die in less than a day. Oh, it's my right leg. She would die anyway. <laughs> I want to stop those images, but I can't. It's like pictures I constantly keep seeing, Mama. She's dying. And I'm there, and she's dying, and I'm seeing her dead. But she's still alive. And now the doctor says she has less than a day, but what am I going to do now? I'm helpless. I can't do anything about it. I want to get out of this, Mom. She's trying to get me out of this. I can't move my arm. I can't move my leg, and I have to go and see her. This is all my fault. Please forgive me. Chantel, are you okay? The doctor wants you to wait for a while. Why has the sun refused to shine? Why does the rain fall down no more? Tomorrow is here. And yet I cry. Why does it hurt? It hurts so Doctor. Hard. Take it easy. How are you? I'm in pain, Doctor. My my arm. My leg especially needs a stronger bronchial. You'll be fine. 
letter for you. For oh, oh, a letter. Yeah. Why will she? My son. My sunshine. I'm very sorry if my actions hurt you, but I had no other choice. No mother could have asked for a better son because you make my chest swell with pride with the virtues that you expect every day. If Chantal is your happiness, then she must not die. I am donating my heart to Chantal for immediate transplant. Don't wait for me because I'm very happy I have something that can restore your happiness. <laughs> Everything will be alright, I can assure you. Indeed, it's a very delicate procedure. But you have to remain calm. We have the best team in place to do the heart transplant smoothly. Okay? I need you to help us on this. Okay? Please. Alright? Let's do it. I'll be fine. Tell Grandma I'll be fine, okay? How did it go? It was a Sussex. Oh, thank God. Thank you. Thank you so much, Doctor. Did you hear that? Why has the sun refused to shine? Why does the rain fall down no more? Tomorrow is he, and yet I cry. Why does it hurt? It hurts so much What is the meaning? What is life? What is the reason we live to die? Where is the clown to make me laugh? Where are the drums to make me Ladies and gentlemen, my name is David. I'm not going to bore you with a long speech. Either am I going to waste your time because I know how much impatiently you've been waiting to devour the food on the table. At this juncture, I'd like to introduce the celebrant of this occasion, Chantal Foriana, ladies and gentlemen. I thank you all for honoring my invitation today. Considering your busy schedules and commitments. And I thank God so much. For giving me a second chance to life. When I thought all hope was lost. And I was thinking that I was going to see my late mother and father in the spirit world. When a few months back, 
I was diagnosed with a weak heart. I was told that I had about three months to live. It was a life-changing phase for me. And during that period, I met a very, very special person. Who gave me a second chance to life. And kind gestures made it possible for me to be standing here. And Entertainment programming from the comfort of your home through our satellite delivered channels in your favorite languages French, English, Swahili, Sri, Igbo, Hausa, Yoruba, and so on. Our forever dubbing services. With the largest number of dubbing studios in Africa, we can help you dub your videos to major languages in Africa Swahili, English, French, Yoruba, Hausa, Igbo, Wolof, Zulu, and so on. Afarevo YouTube, the largest YouTube partner in Africa with over 500 channels of top African entertainment and millions of eyeballs daily, we help thousands of video creators make money on YouTube. Afarevo, the revolution is on.